Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to do something about our height maps so that we could get better results. Uh, I've noticed a comment from a person who asked if this really is the hassle which is needed uh, in order to get a decent uh, real life terrain and I can tell you that most of it yes there will be a hustle about it but we can make our height maps better and we can do this by using a image editing software and in my case I will use Photoshop so what I've done is downloaded a height map from the uh, terrain party uh, terrain dot party uh, this is a terrain from uh, somewhere in Nevada and so what I will do is create a new um, yeah, new file in the Photoshop and these are going to be my settings this is going to be the wide, the height resolution is going to be 72 the color mode needs to be grayscale and this needs to be a 16-bit uh, color mode so I'm going to press OK and I'm going to place in my Nevada height, height map so what is an important thing to remember is that once we place this sometimes we get these white edges so what I will do is press ctrl T for transform and I'm gonna drag this a little bit out so that our edges would be sort of outside like so and there we go uh, the next thing what I will do is select our texture and I will add a exposure so let's edit this a little bit. I'm going to bring this up just a bit, but make sure you don't overexpose it because if we do something like this, these are going to be very flat top surfaces, which are going to be super tall and that's not exactly what we want. So we can bring this even actually down a bit or let's see. Yeah, so this seems pretty good. So I'm not going to mess with the exposure that much. I'm just going to do some gamma corrections. This seems all right. And the next thing what I will do is select these tools and I will select the dodge tool. And we need to select the image. And so I'm going to color with the dodge tool on some uh, higher surfaces, but not on the super high ones. So these are going to be the sections that I'm going to color lighter. The lighter the color, the higher the hill is. So don't do this because you will have like a super huge, not so cool uh, mountain over there. So the next thing what I will do is again select a burn tool and I will run a little bit on our lower surfaces. And actually I will burn the top a little bit off as well for that one spot which was super high. So I'm gonna burn these down a bit. In a few locations like so. So there we go. That's something like this. And the next thing what we should do is uh, to get rid of those sharp uh, surfaces, which we have by default. There's a lot of sharp in it. What we can do is add a noise reduction filter. And let's make our strength a little bit higher. The uh, preserve, the detail, let's get this a little lower. And sharpen detail goes down. And also we need to remove JPEG artifact so there we go and let's now add a blur so Gaussian blur and let's just I'm gonna leave this at one pixel and this should be pretty good so I'm gonna press Control shift s to save this and I'm gonna call this height map I'm gonna save this now I will go to the Unreal Engine and let's add a new landscape. Let's see what did we create. So landscape, let's drag this in. Let me adjust this a bit. Like so. Import from file. Let's import our newly created height map. Import. And we should drag this up a bit. Where did it go? There it is. So now this kind of does look a little bit nicer we still have the old sticking through though 
So if we would move this up even more. So this is how our newly created height map should look like. Technically, you can combine multiple uh, height maps or just simply in the Photoshop edit it so that it would be in the higher resolution and uh, you can fit multiple of them together. But well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do something like this. And now we should get this whole thing a bit together. So I will actually raise it over here. So yeah, this is going to be it for this tutorial. So we have made this terrain look a little bit nicer, I would say. Um, hopefully this was helpful to some of you. And uh, if you have any more suggestions, questions, then of course, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. And I always try to answer all of your questions. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.